Joining us once again on our show is Michaela, and we're going to be talking about dancing, 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 dancing machine. Hi. Hey, Donna. Hello. How are you? I'm so good, and thanks for having me back on. Oh, my gosh. I just think you're amazing. Um, so bare feet, right? Your feet aren't always bare, are they, every time you dance or just? No, no. no. Okay. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Yeah. In every place I go, I go with a blank slate, right, with an open mind, an open heart. And dance, they always say that music is the universal language of love, but so is dance, because with dance, you don't really need any words, right? You can interpret. You don't. It, yeah. It's a, it, what I found is that through dance, there's immediate friendships that are made. There's this connection made of joy. You're smiling with someone. You're sweating with someone. You're, you're, you're touching very um, uh, respectfully with the other person. And so immediately you share a commonality and you're in step. So you're literally in synchronization as if you're having the same conversation. And that's, that's really what Bare Feet's all about is that connection. So as the host and the executive producer, how many seasons have you uh, completed or how many journeys have you been on so far? And do you keep track? Maybe you don't even oh. keep track. Maybe you just keep dancing every day and you never know. Well, when the cameras are with me, we definitely keep track, right? I have a crew with me. We're currently in our sixth season, which I'm super proud of. That's 52 episodes of Bare Feet that have been airing on public television, on PBS stations across the country. Uh, it just aired also on Create TV. So season six just came out recently and we're currently in production in pre-production for season seven and we're going back to international destinations which i'm super excited about congratulations you got your passport ready make sure michaela that it's not expired because mine expires in 2027 and i'm so glad i looked because i was like oh my gosh the world's back open and you know i need my passport so but yeah uh, i got so mine i got mine renewed right before covid hit actually okay. no it was right after covid so I have another 10 years ready to travel. <laughs> You're good <laughs> and to I'm, go. I'm ready for it. Are we going to see any repeat destinations or, or maybe sprinkle it in with a few new ones? What's, what's your intention for this new season coming up? Well, the new season won't come out till next year. So we have a little while. Public television, it takes a while to get the new seasons out. But we are going to be going back to Ireland. Um, specifically, we're going to be going to Northern Ireland for a season seven in one of our episodes which I'm excited about because I love Ireland and we're actually going back to Ireland next in March for St. Patrick's Day. That's what I heard, right? And aren't you like the grand marshal of something? I don't know. Like, are you like leading the parade or, you know? No. So I'm, I'm going to actually be the live correspondent with another TV host who's actually from Ireland. His name is Francis Brennan. He's a beloved TV host out in Ireland. And it's going to be airing live on St. Patrick's Day starting 8.30 a.m. on Create TV but you'll be with me. I was there last year. It's so fun. And I'll be kind of giving you a play-by-play -play of all the bands that come through. And there's a lot of American marching bands that are there. So it's this beautiful connection between Ireland and America. They really have this strong brotherhood and connection between the two countries. Obviously, there's so many Americans that claim Irish heritage. And I don't know about you, but on St. Patrick's Day, we're all a little bit Irish, right? We, we certainly are. And I grew up singing in a patriotic singing group. And uh, St. Louis is where I grew up, as you know, because we're friends. Um, and I, we used to have a big St. Patty's Day parade there, too. We would make the float every year. I know all the Irish songs, like, Tura, Laura, wow. Laura, and, and uh, when Irish eyes are smiling, sure, it's like a morning spring. So, you know, I'm excited to that. I'm going to definitely tune in. I'm going to definitely watch you. Um, so you'll be the, at least in our own way, uh, at least the grand marshal of your own little screen that you're recording. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, be sitting on the days. We'll be sitting on the days and and really giving you the play by play. But we'll. It's yes. really a joyous day and it's a, a celebration. It sort of kicks off the the time of the year when people start going to Ireland. So it really is this like beautiful start of travel. It's you know middle of March and people are excited to get back out again. It's getting better weather, the spring is coming, you know, we're coming out of our little hibernation shells. And to me, Ireland's the best place to go because the people are wonderful. Um, we like to say you fill your heart with Ireland. And I just got back yesterday from Ireland. It's one of my favorite places in the world. <gasps> Genuinely, wow. yeah. Wow, did you, you know, everybody knows like, you know, the river dance and the step dancing. As you see my fingers trying to do like this, <laughs> Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Michele, um, did you do some of that as well? Like there's the jig and there's like the step dancing. There's, I guess there's a rich tradition of dance in Ireland. 
oh, there's a huge tradition of dance. And so, you know, aside from being part of the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade live from Dublin, right, that, that's going to be airing on Create, they're doing a whole St. Patrick's Day marathon, um, which is called uh, Celebrate the Emerald, Emerald Isle. And two of our Bare Feet episodes from season three are going to air where I'm learning Kaylee, I'm doing um, st our step dance, I'm doing Shanos, which is the old style, I'm learning how to play the penny whistle, I learn how to play the boron. But then there's also this tradition of amazing Irish food. I think that's overlooked always in the Irish tradition is that food has always been farm to table. And especially yes. we go to the Dingle Peninsula and the Wild Atlantic Way. And this year marks the 10th anniversary of the Wild Atlantic Way. And what you have is this beautiful tradition of fishing, uh, of shellfish. So that's where you get the, um, the, the chowders, right? Like Boston chowder came from Ireland. Is, that is a tradition from there. So, um, yeah, every time I go, I'm always dancing, but you'll get to see all of that dance uh, through our episodes that are also airing on Create for the uh, the Celebrate Emerald Isle Marathon that's starting the weekend of St. Patrick's Day. Well, I thank you for dancing your way over to my set, and hopefully I'll be dancing my way with you again soon. Uh, you're always so delightful, Michaela. I thank you very much for joining us, and uh, the luck of the Irish to you. Thank you, Donna, and I'll see you soon. See you soon. Be well, my friend. Take care. Bye-bye.